All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, this uh, will be the second set of the finals, and we'll be starting here in just one second. The players are ready, and uh, we're going to draw real quick. Uh, we're going to get John Brendel to draw the match here, the final uh, winner of the Lucasi Hybrid break cue. Here we go. All right, the winner of the, uh, the Lucasi break queue is 2836. And that is Charlie Clipper. Charlie Clipper has won the, the break queue. All right. So Lucasi hybrid. That's awesome. Yeah, he won another uh, item earlier, too. He won, some, uh, he won an AccuStats DVD and uh, some queue clips. So that's cool. All right, we're ready to roll. Well, we're down to a one race final here, race 11, for the whole shebang. This is the second and final set of the finals. Manny Chow has won the winner side. George Sansushi Ginky has uh, came back from the one loss side and defeated Manny in the first set. This is the second set. It's race to 11 for all the cheddar. Also, a uh, special guest joining me in the booth right now, Greg McAndrews, GMAC. And Brandon Shonuff Shuff. Uh, man, uh, you guys uh, just played in the finals, didn't you? The mini yeah, tournament? Yeah, in the mini nine ball tournament. Uh, let's just say uh, he played the best pool, but I somehow won because I needed to be double dipped, so wow. I escaped. Wow. Yes, you did escape, I will admit it. Yeah, but you played good, though, man. You came back and fought back real quick, you know. Yeah, it's a race to five, anything can happen. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's awesome. Yeah, I know it was a tight match. Uh, I didn't realize uh, Greg had that much game in him. Yeah, he G plays Mac. good, man. Yeah. I didn't realize I had that much game either. <laughs> G-Mac can play a little, guys. Yeah, you can't <laughs> underestimate these New York City folks. They're all undercover. <laughs> <laughs> Rack number one here. Okay, you just got to uh, get down steady. Don't get up. Roll in. Not an easy shot, but it's one he should execute. He must have practiced this shot uh, a million times growing up. So, just got to get down. Take your time. Follow through. Roll it in. Yep. Very easy shot to miss. I think uh, probably Corey Duell hits that shot the best that anyone I've ever seen. Yeah, six ball uh, was there to help, uh, but it, uh, missed it narrowly. Well, sometimes when that six ball's there, you think you have room to that side, and you actually don't. You hit in between the six ball and the uh, pocket. He 
three balls a little long here. He might have to play this ball on the side. He's just going to see if he's running into the five or not, but, he, but he's not. He's going to be okay here. I don't know, man. He's been moving the furniture a lot. That's not, not something you want to do in nine ball, but uh, he's been running into the balls a lot, I noticed, in, his, uh, first, uh, in the last set and now in the beginning of this set. Yeah, I mean, well, I mean, they both kind of started playing some sloppy pool out of nowhere. I mean, Ginky was playing, like, real precise patterns, man, the whole tournament up until that uh, Mike DeShane match, and then he... Uh, and then he got it back together out of nowhere and came back from a 6-0 to zero deficit, right? Yes. That was a strong match there. Yeah. I loved watching that. Yeah, it was a great match. And not to mention I had a 100 bet on it. <laughs> Did I say that fast enough? <laughs> yeah. Well, you didn't like it when it was 6 nothing. I know that. I know you were trying to buy out, but uh, they wouldn't let you. No, uh, <laughs> no. You better tell everybody you're joking right now because you know that ain't true. No, I know. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> Nice shot, Manny Chow. Wow, very nice, very nice. This ought to be an in interesting uh, commentating because you're going to be rooting for Genki and I'm going to be rooting for Manny because Manny's one of my road dogs. Yeah, uh, I like Manny a lot, but uh, he's in a bad game. Yeah, yeah. I would say the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got action right here in the booth. Yeah. yeah. No, but but all. I mean, both these players are having a great tournament, so uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be a good pool, and they're two great guys too. So it's going to, you know, it's definitely respectful on both ends, no matter what. Well, I, I have to say, every time Manny comes up here for a big tournament, he's always uh, been the bridesmaid. So maybe it's his turn. He came uh, second in the uh, Empire State last year. He came in second in New York City uh, Nine Ball Championship to Bustamante the year before that. And I think he lost to Dennis last year after having a big lead on him. So it, it actually might be his time. So we'll see. But uh, I'm definitely not rooting for him, even though I like him a lot. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. That's good words. Good words. <laughs> I love how he has the matching glove with the American uh, flag. Uh, always has a sweet glove on there, man. The only guy who gets away with wearing a glove, I have to say. Real Barchman in the chat room said, man, he's a good player, but he should stay down. And that's uh, wise words coming from a great player. I mean, a, a great a, a great. Uh, aspect in the, in the player's fundamentals is, is definitely to stay down on the shot. I mean, all world champions, if you study them, they stay down real for a long time on each shot, you know. Yeah. So, I um, mean, he tends to jump up sometimes when he gets nervous. I mean, a lot of players are like that, but, uh, but uh, that's wise words coming from a good player. Yeah. You think he jumps up actually before before he goes, or he jumps up after? Well, I mean, he you know, they say that you should stay down until the cue ball stops rolling, but I mean, that's kind of over exaggerating. You should stay down at least until, yeah. you know, everything is completely finished. Yeah. Yeah, he stayed down on that one. That's for sure. Hit that real nice. I like to stay down just until the tip hits the cue ball. Yeah. And then I'm jumping up. Some players stay down until that cue ball almost stops rolling just so they can see everything from a from a plain bottom view, you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying. Let's see. Two rails around. Should be perfect on this nine ball. Pretty standard nine ball shot. No oh, man, he's gonna take a one nothing lead. Well, it was kind of interesting what Manny did right there. I mean, he was about to, sh to fire the nine in, and he paused for a second and looked at something over to his left. Something caught his attention. I don't know if you all noticed that or not. Who, Manny? Yes, right there. Uh, he, he stopped. He was probably looking at uh, the beautiful Allison Fisher. Yeah, that could, uh, that could take your attention away sometimes. For a shizzle. <laughs> I'd like to see if Ginky has the energy to finish this out. Ginky, listen, Ginky's put on a, one hell of a tournament, man. He uh, he beat me first round and then uh, ended up losing to uh, on the winner's side. Who lose to on the winner's side? He lost to Deshane, 11-6. That, oh, yeah, that's right. He lost to Deshane, got knocked on the loser's side, and then uh, beat me again on the loser side and then beat Jeremy Saucy on the loser side and then beat Sean Wilkie on the loser side and then... Beat, beat Mike, Mike DeShane. Beat Mike DeShane after Mike knocked him on the loser side down 6-0, to zero, comes back and wins the set. I mean, he's clearly having the the run of the tournament, if so say. 
I would agree with that. Let's see, Manny uh, is the master making the wing ball. Excellent nine ball break. Seven ball. Jin. I'm going to have to start calling him Thumper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he thumps yeah. his foot on the ground yeah. after he breaks the ball. He's got a strong break, though. Yeah. Think he's just lucky that he gets the rack from him. Racky Rowan, man, he's a dangerous man. Very dangerous man. That's for sure. Yeah. I remember when Manny first came to New York. He walked into the pool room with the red glove. His name was Javier. It was beautiful. <laughs> everybody played him. The next day he showed up with a green glove and everybody played him again. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And we didn't like it. I will say we didn't like it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he jumps up on every shot. He's slamming the balls around. It was, uh, but uh, he got the money. Yeah, it's like you got a whack at it. <laughs> <laughs> He's good at that. Yeah. What do you do here, Brandon? What do you like to do? This is tough. I mean, I got a feeling he's going to slam the four ball, or I mean the three ball up into the corner pocket and try to come off into the four ball and just try to nudge it. I mean, he played a good shot right there and tried to nudge the nine out of the way and keep the cue ball around the three ball, but hmm. I mean, uh, he was unfortunate and tied it up even worse. But uh, What if you just make the three ball and go to the, go to the long rail and play a nice safe and take a stop shot on that four ball? Well, I mean, to be honest, I mean, the four is in a bad spot. I mean, you have yeah. to really thin that ball to get safe. I'd like to go for the breakout here. Yeah. If it, if it was set up different, you know, and you could e leave the four ball there easily, then you'd definitely play the safe. Okay. Oh. That was pretty dramatic. That was fun to watch. He kind of jumped up, though. Shocking. Manny jumped up. I can't believe it. Yeah, I mean it's it, it's a pretty uh, it was a pretty intense shot, man. I mean, you know, he had to build some adrenaline for it and made yeah. him jump up. I guess. Yeah, you got to be careful with this old house and table hitting them too hard. They they do like to uh, come back out. You got to hit them real good. Oh, uh, frozen to the back rail though. He's in a real bad spot. Can he get in there to make the three? We got a uh, we got a pretty strong. Uh, <coughs> chat room here going on we got uh chris bartram in there with uh jesse Bowman. viffer david pete the poker player and uh my state course kent lacy shout out kent lacy virginia all day represent uh jesse bowman bar table champion i didn't like that shot there i think i would have cinched the three then i would have crossed the four and tried to leave the cue ball behind the eight nine i, I, I didn't like what he did there I tried to be a hero that doesn't work yeah, you can't you can't uh, do no hero stuff. Yeah. Oh man, he looks like he's gonna jump out to a two nothing lead. Uh, Lacey sixty five in the chat room is uh, actually my new roommate, and uh, he's one of my stake horses. And since Bartram is in the chat room as well. I'd like to uh, have maybe you guys try to get a one-pocket game matchup with me and Bartram at the U.S. Open. So, uh, oh, Before you do all that, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why is your roommate's name Lacey? His now last name is Lacey. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting nervous. Yeah, I just said it a minute ago, Kent Lacey. <laughs> yeah, Kent's cool people, too. I got to meet him on the way up here. Yeah, he is. I'd like to play... Uh, Viffer, but he wants the weight that all the champions give him. And uh, if I play Bartram even, I shouldn't have to give up 16 to 4. But in any way, that's that's uh, well, forum uh, talk. So yeah, uh, I let the uh, I let the gangster play him some 15 to 4, and that was a, a bad move. Let me tell you. That was oh bad. really? Oh yeah. No position to do I mean, 16 they, to 4. They, they broke even, but it was a miracle. We only played two games, and and, and the pool hall closed. I was so happy. <laughs> yeah. Randy Chow trying to put this to rest. If you come back and you beat a guy two races to 11, that's, that's saying something. That's really doing something. It's not easy to do. Yeah, I agree. 
but Ginky looks uh, like he can do it. Uh, he looks like he's sleeping. He better wake up. <laughs> hey, look, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Mike DeShane had him 6-0. to zero. I mean, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or 6-1 to one or whatever. I mean, this ain't nothing. Ain't nothing over till it's over. Right. I agree. Oh, I, I don't think that. I've been Ginky's friend for 20 years. I know what he's accomplished. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not concerned about him coming back. He just looks a little tired. That's all. Oh, Lord. On the snap, and baby. If he, on the snap. Come on, man. And if, chow, keep, baby. And, and if he keeps ra- and if he keeps racking like that, it's not going to take long. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you might want to pay attention to that to, to the back ball. I game. am betting 200 on the side on Manny. So, uh. well, from the internet chat room, uh, Viffer says he, he uh, outmoves you and uh, who else did he say? Sh- Shuff. Yeah. Yeah, Shuff. Viffer, spell my name right. Come on, you know exactly how it's spelled. Who's You're joking, ha ha ha. And Shuff. <laughs> Viffer, he. Well, then get up and play some fifteen to five, fish. <laughs> <laughs> Ginky gave you fifteen to four, and you I'll moved you better. What, than him. Amazing. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you what, Viffer, Viffer is action though. He's beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll uh. I got a word from the Mike Janice here. He says, come on down to Atlanta. Uh, they've been gambling real strong out there, too. So uh, that'd be the spot to go if you want some serious action, Viffer. Yeah, Mike Janice says, uh, says you got some bank action. Who what? Who said what? Mike Janice says Viffer's got some bank action. Oh, yeah. You got the, to- you got the tournament director here. I mean, he don't play all that great, but he, he, he's looking for some action. Well, no love for Manny on this break here. Yeah. We got behind the seven ball. I'm trying to think where you push here. Is he going to kick at it? I don't know how much of a reward is it. No, he's at not going to. He's yeah, not. Well, he's definitely he, not going to yeah, kick at that right now. Yeah, what's he looking at? Then? Worst case scenario, he'd push to a kick shot and give the option. You know what I mean, or or something of that nature. Yeah. He got, a, he got an unfortunate role for the seven to come in front of the two like that, but that happens on the break all the time. So. Viffer in the chat room says he used to play you all the time, Mike. Is that true, Mike? Viffer says that he used to play you all the time in the chat room. Oh, we used to play a lot. Oh. Well, he says, come on down to Atlanta, Mike Janice does. Oh, sounds like we might have some action going on. Yeah. It's a pretty good shot by Ginky right there. I mean, uh, that's definitely the right shot. I mean, the five ball's kind of tied up. Manny's faced with the decision. I mean, the nine ball goes, obviously, but, you know, it's not like the layout's dead easy. Is he going to the air here or not, Brandon? I would I would jump it and try to make it, you yeah. know? I mean, you kind of... When you kinda, jump everything in, that's a good idea. Well, I mean, yeah. I hope you're not talking about yeah, me. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I remember, <laughs> I just played you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> He's kicking. He's kicking. He's, he's not taking your advice, Brandon. He's going two rails. Hit it full. Nope. He is taking your advice. Yeah, I was about to say he hadn't hit it yet. Yeah, you got to change your heart. As good as Manny kicks, I'm surprised. He kicks so good. He really knows the rails well. He's an excellent billiard player. Kamikaze jump. Yeah, sometimes you gotta do him, you know. Oh. No, he's he's got a shot. He strategically placed the uh, whitey in, in the jaws. No, no. This, <laughs> I mean, when you're when you're a great player, this is a natural angle, man. I mean, you just make the deuce and you know make sure you put some left on it to come out and try to get straight in on the three, so you can play the four in the opposite corner. Yeah, I mean, like worst case see. scenario, if you have to go around, you'd play the four on the side or, or something like that, or come all the way around, you know, and play an angle. But uh, nah, I mean, he's, he's going to come one rail down with a little outside, land straight in on the street ball. He's going to be shooting a five nine combo real soon. Yeah. 
That's the way I see it. I'd be very grateful for a shot like this. Oh, sure. Hit it good. Yeah, it's perfect. I've always wanted, uh, Viffer in the chat room, I've always wanted to say this. What if a good player, since you're so good at playing cards, nine ball corner pocket, if you're so good at playing cards, what if a good player asked you to play even one pocket and even poker? What would you say? Or even nine ball, since nine ball's got a lot of luck involved and so does cards. What, what would you have to say about that? Well, nine ball about to go here, five, nine. I think uh, show enough called it. I like shooting this like you're going to play it in the corner, like think that you're playing it in the corner, but try to cheat the pocket a little bit to the outside left and hit it with a little bit of right. I like playing combo center ball like that. I would have hit that center ball myself. But. Good shot by Ginky there. That makes the score three to one. Now, Ginky's been breaking great the whole tournament, so let's see. Uh, he's been putting a lot of packages on people, so uh, this is his time here to, to uh, try and catch up. is the second set of the finals, race to 11. Wow. <laughs> the sound of those balls <laughs> falling in the pocket <laughs> is beautiful. <Yeah>. Huh? <laughs> he, <laughs> he only made four. <laughs> yeah, he only <laughs> Not well, three. He only made three. Almost made four of the nine balls sitting right in the hole. Yeah, he still has to come with a, a difficult shot back and forth. Yeah, I like shooting with uh, maybe a tip and a half or a top right coming between the 6-5 back over. I like that shot. Yeah, the rails are pretty much bouncy enough to where. ginky has been hitting this shot real good all tournament, I've noticed, too. He's firing them balls down the rail like they got eyes in the center of the pocket. Not that time. Uh, he played the cue ball correct, but he missed the shot. Sometimes a player, you know, gets so caught up in where their cue ball travels that they lose focus on exactly how to make the shot. And that's, I mean, even world champions have that problem when they do miss a ball, you know. You can definitely tend to focus more on the cue ball on accident. Sacrifice making a ball for position. <laughs> Interesting. I almost feel like he was trying to get on the other side of the floor and he, and he didn't hit it with a good stroke, but he seems like he got away with it. going to play the 6-9 next, I would imagine. <sighs> wow. That's a shocking miss by Manny. I thought maybe he'd come all the way to the rail and out so he can uh, make sure he makes the ball, but he was trying to just turn it in and he didn't turn it. Ginky's got a simple out here. It looks like he's just going to 
roll forward a little, six on the side, eight in the corner. No, nope. he's playing a combination. We got a lot of action stirring up yeah. in the chat room. It's starting to get pretty interesting. I like action. Well, yeah, we got action this match. Uh, Ginky closing the gap. That's a big game. That's good to go up four to one to make it three to two. Huge gap in the race to eleven. Oh, tremendous game! I can't believe Manny missed that five ball. I think he shot it wrong. I think he's supposed to go to the rail above the side pocket and back out for the six nine. He tried to hold the cue ball. He's changing sides in his break, so let's see how that works. He broke from the other side last time. He's switching sides now. Well, uh... Pockets the one ball on the side. He's been doing that with regularity. Uh, he's steady his hand again and rolled his deuce in. You know, it's, it gets hit a little firm because you can come to the bottom rail and, and back up for the three. And, uh, Got a clear view of the, of the uh, a two and a... Oh, nice, nice out possibility here. Yeah, Mark. he's got to be real happy with this break, real happy. This is the shot right here. You know, you're tired, you got to make sure you stay down, follow through, and make a nice stroke on the ball. That's it. Hit it real good. Yes, he did. Now it just slides up between the 4-5. He's playing right, Ginky. His patterns are uh, pretty picture perfect. Real easy. Everything looks real easy. Yeah, he's pretty much out from here. I got an interesting topic to bring up in the chat room, and maybe for those listening, uh, there's an upcoming match between Mika Eminem and Shane Van Boning here in New York. I'd like to know who likes who. I'm going to quote my thoughts first. I'm going to have to say I like Shane, of course. Shane is just a cash playing nut. Let's just play that and say that for for a start. Yes, he is a cash playing nut. Uh, he's got to go and beat Meeker in his house. Uh, Meeker's an amazing player. He is. Uh, he doesn't miss anything. It's a tough table. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I know I got front row seats. Oh, really? Yeah. Wonderful. And, uh, and I'll be willing to hold the pulse for anybody that uh, might be making a bet. Another thing I noticed is, uh, oh, that's dramatic right there. Oh, yeah, you always, you always want to be shooting off the point. This is nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good spot to be in. You want to be right on the point. Hey, you listen, know? would you rather be shooting or watching your opponent shoot? You'd rather be shooting this ball. Hey, look, so I, must, I must say one thing. On these old house and tables, the rails are kind of low. So when, when, you're, when you're frozen on the rail, shooting off the rail, mm -hmm. you can actually dig into more of the cue ball than you could on a Brunswick or a Diamond. So it's actually not as tough as what it looks. Yeah, it look, it's like a low-profile table. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a perfect way to put it. Hey, does anybody know the dates on that tar match that's coming up uh, when you were talking about, Brendan? Oh, I'm, I'm not sure. It's like uh, the 11, 12, uh, thir 11, 12, 13, or 12, 13, 14. Yeah, it's, the, it's like a week right before the U.S. Open starts. Right. Yeah, and you can catch that uh, live over at Amsterdam Billiards uh, in Manhattan. And uh, you can also get the pay-per-view from actionreport.com it's going to be a great match yeah it is I mean a lot of people are starting to like Mika I'm going to be honest because uh, one, one reason being uh, uh, supposedly Shane gave the okay for Mika to use the magic rack Yes. and supposedly Shane's not going to use it he's going to rack with a regular rack and use his hands or whatever I, I think that's suicidal I mean Shane's break is so great he might win but you know he might run with the magic rack, who knows how many racks of 10-ball you might, Mika might run. It's uh, unbelievable. You really could predict where the balls are going in a 10-ball Definitely, break. definitely. Especially with that magic rack. Uh, and don't think Mika isn't, isn't on that table breaking with that magic rack. 
So if, if Mika can neutralize change break somehow, um, Mika's probably got the best offense in the world. I can't, can't imagine somebody having a better better long game than Mika. He makes all the long, hard shots. It's unbelievable. Wow, well, unfortunate yeah, kick. I'm sorry, guys. Unfortunate kick there in the side pocket. Uh, Geeky scratching on the brain. Nah, you're okay. I mean, that's a, that's a perfect time to start focusing on the game again. Uh, I mean, this is a really a critical point in the match. I mean, Manny kind of missed that five ball earlier that would have put him up four to one, but really yeah. no reason to miss it either. It was really yeah, no I mean, I mean, with these long races, I mean, momentum changes are, are definitely going to happen no matter what. So, this is beautiful. This is such a the five, six, seven, eight are all up at the top of the table. Couldn't ask for a better layout. I wish I was shooting. And for any of the uh, of you viewers who are wondering uh, exactly what's going on here, this is the Ohausen Ozone Tour held at Q9 Billiards in Levittown, Long Island, New York. This is the finals of the nine ball open. 3,000 added. Race to 11 double elimination. I believe they had 35 players. Is that what it was? Big truck? 33 was the total. I thought, 33? Stellar field, too. There was uh, quite a few good players that showed out this weekend. Yeah, if you're just joining us, this is uh, Ray Hansen, also known as Big Truck. I'm joined in the booth right now by Brandon Shonuff. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> and uh, also Greg McAndrews, GMAC. GMAC. I almost got you, Shuff. I almost got you. <laughs> <laughs> we had a battle earlier. If you all weren't listening, we played in the finals of the the mini nine ball event. Neither one of us really showed up, but it was an interesting final. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my game. That's my game. After that's tonight, let's just forget about it. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, looks real good here. Take four three lead. Beautiful shot, stay underneath the six, so you can just roll out natural for the seven. Now he's gonna roll on top of the eight. Yeah, you almost want the same, you know, the same angle as you got on the seven yeah, on he, the eight. Yeah, he's going to play the same angle and just roll out one rail for the nine. Maybe two rails to cushion it over there by the chalk if he has to. Um, it's interesting. Yeah, but I mean, along with zone yeah. play, I mean, sometimes you don't get the exact angle that you want, so you kind of got to draw back into the chalk now, if you know what I mean. Man, he's got a smooth stroke. He's got that three cushion thing working real good. I mean, his cue ball is always real strong. So, just like uh, that, he, I see. He jumped up. You see what I mean? Bartram in the chat room. Uh, that was just a a great thing that you said earlier. I mean, you're exactly right. I mean, it's great to have experienced players in the chat room speaking the knowledge. I mean, he jumped up like so fast. I mean, he's still okay. You know what I mean? But but you shouldn't never have to shoot a shot that tough. You know. Well, he's drawing into the line. That's the problem. He, he, he got straight in the ball, and he got to draw back into the line. You don't want to overdraw it and get and have to cut the nine in backwards. So yeah. yeah. If if he got the angle we said, he'd be coming one two rails right at the nine. So. I mean, players get nervous. You know, they jump up on their shot because they're nervous. They they they, they want to, you know, rely on feel more. But sometimes you got to rely on fundamental. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, he's got a heavy stroke. If he lays on a good, he's probably afraid he's gonna overdraw it. He's got a real good draw stroke. Mm -hmm. I mean, I do the same thing a lot. I mean, sometimes I jump on shot, jump up on shots because I'm trying to feel feel the run out. You know what I mean? And I mean, honestly, people are like, "Well, you shoot so good, it doesn't matter if you're out of line." I'm like, "Well, you know what? You know, I kind of rely on that sometimes. I get out of line, and I just whack the balls in there, and you know, tend to just free will is what it looks like sometimes. But uh, over the long haul, it matters if you're out of line. That's for sure. You got to try and you know, stay in line. Yeah, even though I play hard pool all the time and travel everywhere and play, I mean, uh, this may not sound right, but I'm a firm believer in trying to get loose and just free rolling and having a good time, man. I'm just trying to play good sets and get loose, if you know what I mean. I know what you mean. That's why I'm sure a lot of people want to play you. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm a donkey, you know what I mean? You should want to play me. I play better for the cash than I do tournaments, that's for sure. That's what they all say. Well. I'm not going to find out, though. You're a little stronger than me, sir. <laughs> I will let you play my friend a game of straight pool, though, if you're interested. He backed out. Oh, that's because he's, he's being nice to you. Big Shark, we might have to stay in town for another day or two. You got him. You just got to give, you, you give up 10-7 in one pocket. You got him. Oh, come on. Hey, you know how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> You guys come to this tournament and you just fired everything in one pocket and uh, a, regu a regular guy beat you and you can't believe it. No, I respect his game from the get-go. He knows that. Schmitty is who we're talking about. The guy plays unbelievable one pocket. Yeah, he does. Dave Growl. Somebody asking in the chat room how I play Dave Growl. Dave Growl. I heard he got his finger chopped off. and uh, He's a good buddy of mine. I like Dave a lot, man. He's a good dude. But uh, I did hear he got his finger chopped off, but it's like sewed back on or something like that. But, uh, I mean, of course, I mean, I'd, anybody who ain't a champion, I'm going to play you even. I don't care who you are. As long as my steak horse tells me I can win, I get up there and play my heart out. Players have taken a break, and <clears throat> while I have, uh, we'll take a quick break ourselves. We'll be right back. We are back. The uh, players are on break right now. This is the second set of the finals. We're here at Q9 out in Levittown, New York on Long Island. We'll resume play here in just a, a moment.
Now we're back. Here's uh, Geeky. Plays a safety. That's a nice shot. If you're uh, if you're just joining us, this is Ray Hansen, your host, and we're here in the second set of the finals. Manny Chow won the hot seat. Ginky came back and won the first set. And this is set number two. Special guests uh, joining us for this match: uh, Greg McAndrews, G Mac, and oh wow, and uh, also. Uh, Allison Fisher from New York City Grind. Uh, welcome to the booth, y'all. Hello. Hello. That was one incredible shot. Unfortunately, you're going to have to come with another one now. Yeah. There is some, sometimes, uh, sometimes you're left with uh, no choice but to make a tough shot, then uh, take what you can get. Wow. And wow. I thought he would thin that four ball and try and go behind the uh, six seven with the cue ball. I guess he felt confident with the bank, or maybe he couldn't see the, the right side of the ball. George pocket this ball, go between the six, seven, back and forth. Or does he play safe? I think he pockets the ball. Yeah, I think he's gonna try to take this four ball out. Oh, overcut it. No. I like taking a stop shot right here if I can. Maybe if you can even yeah, if you can even draw a little behind an eye, it's even better. And I like to just stop the cue ball, just like that. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's gonna be good enough. Like that four ball would have kept rolling, then you find out if it's good enough right after Ginky shoots. <laughs> yeah. Good, <laughs> good call, Greg. <laughs> Gonna go one round and kick this ball. No. So the safe was good enough. Man, he's got a, sh uh, a nice yeah. shot in the full ball. Got a follow up. We played a five in the side. This is the shot right here. You make this uh, game over. And he should. He should make this no yeah, problem. This should be a piece of cake here for Manny. Oh, man. What? 
Not only wasn't it a piece of cake, you missed it by uh, half a diamond. Oh. Wow. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, please don't say cake. Oh, apologize. I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the chef here makes some unbelievable cake. You know, I saw some carrot cake sitting oh. up in the bar earlier. Oh, that man. looked really tasty. Uh, chef Karen. This is where you really have to get yourself together. The guy just missed an easy shot, or a relatively easy shot by a foot, and this is how he leaves you, so you gotta make sure that you don't get upset. You take your time, make a good kick at the ball, as good as you can. Huh. Oh, no. Brutal roll. I think the roll before that was even, was even more brutal. Manny looks a little unsure of himself here. Yeah. But uh, the out is easy enough. I think he's still got to come up and uh, he's got to play. I don't think the five passes the six. No, the five's, five's pretty well blocked by the six balls. So. Yeah, but he does have ball in hand, so it shouldn't yeah, be a problem. Yeah, this is, he's got to make sure to follow it through here and not come short. Yeah. So he's, yeah, this is. Excellent. Looking, yeah, looking look great. See, this is actually very good for Manny. The, the out's laying pretty good, but he should take his time and make sure he's got it all down exactly what he wants to do. Make sure he gets out. Take your time. Especially when you're struggling, it's always good. a huge fan of playing between these balls like he's looking. I think yeah. he can get to the bottom rail pretty easy. I'm not sure uh, why he'd play between the balls. I mean, it's a big area, but if you don't have to, why do it? Yeah. I don't think he's thinking that, that, that clearly right now. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is, uh, okay yeah you came out fine here but I can I can definitely see your point Greg you can you can easily drift a little too far here and uh, get blocked by the nine ball especially in these pressure situations we've seen it happen before you can easily get on the line at least perfect here it looks good mm -hmm. He's about to go up five to three. He's got to keep applying the pressure. Here it is, five three to Manny. ball is still spinning. Yeah, he hit those really, really solid. Squatter Whitey. That was some serious squattage. Yes. <laughs> yes. Squattage. We have squattage. <laughs> Perfect angle. Two to the three. I'd be surprised if Manny doesn't get out here. Very surprised. Yeah, this is where this is where Manny's just going to get into a groove. 
it's going to take a lot to get him out of uh, out of stroke here. Yeah, he should be uh, should get out this rack, no problem. I don't see any issues here. Yeah. Probably come to the center here. Nice, right back to the center of the table. It's a little straighter than he wanted to be on this ball, it looks like. Yeah. He's got to draw back, and we know he had a couple of uh, yeah, issues drawing back before here. he jumped up. And now he's stretching across the whole table. Yeah, you'd much rather be able to fall off the short reel here and just come straight back out. Yeah. I would have liked to have been higher up towards the side pocket on that and come two rails around for the, for the five myself, but he's okay. He just draws straight back, and uh, he just got to put a good stroke on it, stay down. And, uh, he should land real, real, real good on, on the five, I'm sure. Hmm. Well. It's okay, two rails around the six. Yeah, he got a little shy, but he's okay here. I actually like this angle a lot. You come two rails around the six, and then you come to the short rail and the long rail, and you're probably straight in on the eight. Very natural here. Oh, oh. No, he's actually straight in the six. This is even better. Yeah. injured playing pool. <laughs> <laughs> Manny Chow puts another one on the board. Six to three. Takes a three game lead. But uh, remember Ginky was down 6-0 uh, to uh, Mike DeShane and he came back and beat him. So six right. to three, race to 11. Not yeah. A, it's not a big deficit if you have a big break for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, it was uh, it was definitely an impressive statement for for Genki to make in that last match. Really, I mean, Mike DeShane is really getting a lot more uh, a lot more traveling right now. He's playing certainly in a wide wider range than Genki is. You know, Genki's really not playing that much outside of New York. So for him to beat Mike DeShane is. Uh, and, and to come back from that deficit is is impressive. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, Ginky pretty much stays on the East Coast, uh, New York and North, and that's it. Doesn't uh, doesn't travel anymore like he used to. But uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure that um, playing the likes of Mike DeShane is nothing that scares him. That's for sure. Okay, I guess he's got to come uh, uh, try and chop this ball in. He's going to, I don't know, it looks like he might be sending uh, Whitey at the 9 too, but uh, that's a little dangerous. But he just looked at it, he cuts this in, I would just come straight down the center of the table and back up for the 3-4 combination. Well, if, uh, I don't think the 3-4 is really that much of a, much of a guarantee. Wow, this is interesting. Yeah, he, wow. got, he was going at that 9. Wow. That He's is lucky he didn't hit off the long rail into the Oh, nine yeah. Scratch. He could have very easily scratched right there. He got lucky. You know, I, I, I was really looking at the possible carom from the three to the nine. That's um, much more likely if, if he could have just pocketed that two ball. But he was that nine ball. That was really... That was pretty risky. You think you cut this two ball in with a little inside English? 
Come right at right come right at the cluster or uh, I don't know. Now he's got outside, he's gonna try and close it up for a combination. Yeah, he's gonna come out nice in here. Hit that really, really nice. Wow, this is this the right angle for this shot. This old housing table just keeps rolling and rolling and rolling, I will say that. It's a nice table, but Definitely rolls and rolls and rolls. Yeah, I'm not sure who the, who they had put the cloth on this uh, table, but uh, it's it's stretched really tight. It certainly is. He's, he's laying good on this combination for sure. Wow. Unless you hit it like that. <laughs> wow. Then you're not laying good on it, but uh, I figured him That's to make that combination. No, he... he the, this table... Oh, uh, man. This is the, uh, the Pro 3 Old House. It does have a very deep shelf. As you can see from that uh, four ball hanging up there. Yeah, well, if, if balls like that start going in, it would be a problem. He didn't hit it all that good. He deserves for it to be hanging right there. Okay, I guess I'll come two rails out. Yeah, I like drawing, but he's going to draw back. He's not going to risk it going in front of the six ball. This makes sense. Just draw back. Yeah. Mm, it's going to be pretty straight here in the five ball. But, well, maybe he's got... Uh, I have to tell what kind of angle, but just draw back a little bit. Should be looking fine. He's okay, but I've seen better angles. I mean, he's, uh, he's okay. He's just got to... He's walking around the table, going to make sure he's really got this shot locked in. I know he wishes he could go forward on this shot, but I think he has to draw. Welcome to the machine. Oh, boy. Gonna tap? No, no. Huh. Okay, this doesn't look too difficult. He's just taking a shine, make sure he gets everything right. But yeah, he got very he got pretty close to tapping into the six ball there. That would have changed the situation here a little bit. He's okay. But here is uh here is not a problem. Yeah, that's, that's exactly uh, what he had to do there. He just wants to make sure he's doing everything right. Make sure you get out. Don't make don't make unforced errors. Okay, seven to three. Man, he's really breaking the balls well, and if he continues to break the balls like that, it's not going to be much room for uh, Kinky to come back and beat him. I think he's got to be kicking himself for missing that 3-4 combination. He landed really, really well on it. He just, uh, he hit it bad. As he, as he would say, he, he hit it chunky. That's a pretty big swing right here. Going from four six to seven three. Hmm. Well, he's really smashing the balls. Yeah, uh, yeah. He certainly doesn't have a a great table here to start off with. Yeah, but he wants to put the cue ball behind the uh, the four nine. Absolutely. And, and then and then the two ball behind the six. But uh, I think he's going to accomplish that too. Oh, he overhit her. No, let's see. Yeah, this is going to be just no, that's right perfect. here. That's perfect. See, when you're breaking good, if you're making a ball, even if you can't run out, if you can leave your opponent like this every time, you're in a good spot, a real good spot. Okay, let's see what Kinky comes up with here. Oh, 
Wow. Well, he almost got there. Yeah, he almost snuck the two on the other side of the six. That would have been pretty, pretty nice shot. Yeah, that would have been very impressive. Well, Manny isn't laying all that good here. If he cuts the two in, I think his cue ball is going to hit off the six. If he hits off the six, he, he's going to go right where he is right about now, and hopefully not into the into the corner pocket. Uh, but if he gets to the bottom rail, he could take a nice stop shot and uh, stick him on the nine ball. Look at this. He followed right through the six. Beautiful. Nice spin, too. No, that was a beautiful stroke. He went right through that ball. I don't know if he can cut this in and hit the seven ball and just stop the cue ball. That'd be nice. I can't see the angle. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. Yeah, might as well make the seven, too. What the heck? I think you just make this five and lay in the rail and come three rails around for the eight. Uh, this one should be over too. Just don't get straight on that eight ball. Yeah, he likes that way. I'm surprised. Especially if you're righty. It's nice if you could just uh, lay on the rail. Came out for a nice angle on the six. Shouldn't have any problem coming back for the eight ball here. Except he's stretching across the table with one leg up like Bustamante. And this is oh what boy. this is what happens when you oh stretch. That's man. why that's why I like laying when I made the five, just lay on the rail and come three rails around for the eight. You're in perfect shooting position. I'm surprised he did that, but uh, I'm sure Manny knows better than me. He felt more comfortable doing that, but he just got a uh, real, real, real long where he had a stretch for the six ball. He needed one of those 60-inch uh, Chris Bartram cues for that shot and probably would have executed it. Or one of those cool uh, cue extensions. Yeah. Does he thin this ball and come one, two, three, four rails behind a nine? Is that what he's looking to do? Now he's looking at the score to see if he should bank at the ball or not. I like that. <laughs> he's checking the score to see what the right shot is. I don't know. I just think the right shot's the right shot most of the time. Yeah, that was, that was suicidal right there. That was suicidal. Oh. Huh. Did he get away with it? Hey, Did he get uh, away with it? Oh. Can't tell. He might have. Uh, oh no! Don't get it. This is iffy. Don't get away with that. Oh no! See, just because you're winning by uh, four games doesn't give you a right to uh, to be sloppy. Mandy had an a safe he could have executed there, and he tried. I guess he tried to go for the kill, but to hit the bank that hard and didn't didn't seem like the right shot. Genki came out of this just fine, all things considered. I don't know, I hate rolling this ball up the corner, but you know, you gotta shoot this ball up the corner. It has to be done, that's what you have to do. Just make it. Well, side pocket here might be possible. Oh, yeah. okay, he played it in the side. Here too. Now, just because Manny took that shot, I wouldn't be surprised if Genki runs two or three racks on him here. When you've got a man down like that, seven to three, there's no reason to be taking a flyer at the eight ball like that. Zero reason. I'm surprised Manny knows better than that. Okay, let's see if uh, my prediction comes true. Let's see if uh, Ginky breaks a road map here. That would be nice to see right now. They've been kind of uh, struggling back and forth here a little bit. Mm. <laughs> he 
tried to make that eight ball on a fly. I don't understand what he was thinking. Oh, oh. no. Uh oh. Wow. Uh oh. Nope. My prediction didn't come true. In fact, he left a uh, pretty much a roadmap out with ball in hand for Manny. But if Manny shoots it with the two ball, he's not going to get too far because he picked up the two ball instead of the cue ball. Let's see if he notices. I'm going to say he figures it out when he puts it down. What do you think, folks? He's got the two ball in his hand. Sweat it. <laughs> I thought I was the only one that did that. No, I think uh, Shannon Dalton did that in a big tournament once for a lot of money. He pulled the he pulled the ball out that the that the guy made. He pulled the five ball out of the pocket and reshot it in the <laughs> hole. I think, from what I remember, I, from one of my hacky stats tapes. One of the funniest things I've ever seen. Man, he's really tired. I can see he's stroking the ball. Not I was like just about to say, you know you're tired when you uh when you look like Manny pick, uh, <laughs> pick the wrong ball out of the ball return. <laughs> yeah, well they're both they're both tired. I'm tired too. Yeah. yeah we're all tired. That's okay. Yeah. Sometimes playing pool when you're tired is a good thing. Okay, he's really staring this one down. He's just got to pull it past the side. Oh, no, he's going to go one rail over, it looks like. Nicely done. I don't know how nicely uh, done it is. Yeah, this seems pretty straight here. Very straight, actually. Okay, so if you're straight in this ball, what do you do? Do you force the two rails around? Yeah, that's what he's gonna try and do. Yeah. But he's got a lot. Of, he's got a lot of traffic there. Let's see. Oh, he hit a perfect. This is great. Well, gonna land right on the rail here. I can't. Well, well, he's got a little he's angle. He's got a little angle. He's got an angle. Yeah, he looks okay. This is... He's okay. Yeah, he's okay. Looks good. He should be eight in the same this pocket. This is uh, pretty much the uh, bare minimum here. All right. Here we go. He's just... Uh, he's okay, but he's just struggling. Everything's just landing a little funny. Yeah. But he's okay. Just I, I think he probably just drawed us above the nine. Perfect. Mm -hmm. I think he gives up the nine ball, concedes the nine ball. It's eight to four. All right, I'm gonna step out here. All right, thanks for joining us, Allison. Yes. Thanks for having me. All right, we're rolling forward here. Allison Fisher with uh, New York City Grind. Is it 8-4? Just checking the score, I think it's 8-4, right? It is, and we'll get that updated. Okay. Let's see how many breaks him. He's a little tired, but he's still breaking him solid. Still breaking him real solid. Look at this. Look at this. Goes right to the bottom rail, which usually isn't a good thing, except that the two balls sit in right there. <laughs> and it looks like he's got to draw two rails around here. For three. Oh, 
he hit the four. He had, he was trying to go towards that eight ball, and he clipped the four on the way up. He might have got away with it. Yeah, yeah. A tough shot on a three ball yeah, here. Well, if he decides to cut this three, and I don't think he is, he's got to chop it in and go up and down. I think he plays safe behind the four. He across the one, across the three back, two rails behind the four, like so. Wow. And he hit it. Yeah. It is. It is touching the four. Yeah. yeah. And he hit it. Yeah. That's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah. That that that's that's how it laid. It looked real good. Uh, joining us back in the booth uh, one more time, Brandon Shonuff Shuff. Howdy, folks. Uh, how'd he hit it? <laughs> yeah. He wow. freeze a rock up like that. I mean. <laughs> he hit it like he might have taken that shot before. Yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I mean, he might have to Z-bank this, man. Oh, no, he's going to... Well, the side pocket's kind of in the rail, so maybe he can come short and go three rails underneath and hit the three. Uh, he's I got like he, one rail. Uh, yeah, he's going to try to one rail it. This is tough. This is really tough to do. Yeah, one rail is... What a shot. Wow. What a sh And got there. Wow. That's, uh... He almost deserved to make that ball for hitting it like that. I hate to say that because I hate when people do that to me, but he hit it so square from, 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 yeah. from a bad spot. I mean, in a, I mean, such a great shot for Manny, and then a, a return great <laughs> shot. You know, I mean, you just gotta kind of clap for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, it made me happy. That's for sure. I don't know how happy he made Manny. But. That was things, amazing. Things <laughs> like that happen. I'll tell you what, we got a very intense final here. I mean, I feel the energy. Let's just put it that way. Might be the set. Sad to say. Yeah, if you kick a ball in like that, it's like almost a requirement. You get out, especially when the balls are laying so nice. It's like you took the life out of the guy what and you put you it right back doing in. Doing hitting that like that. He's having fun. He's I perfect. Just, I just roll it up and play the straight hand shot on the seven. You know what I mean? He doesn't want to roll anything. I think that's what it comes down to. Yeah. He's rolling a ball for his money, he's gonna fire. Yeah, he's trying to get loose now. Well, when you see a guy miss a ball like that, your eyes your eyes open wide. You can't wait to go. You jump out of your chair. You come two rails at this ball, no? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Well, three rails. Yeah, three rails into the dirt. Draw it in. Yeah. 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 Well, see, he went like this. He looked at the other way, then he came this way. Yeah, I like to draw him. Well, yeah, either way. Yeah, I mean, he had a wider yeah. area on that side, but still, you're risking. If you hit it bad, you can scratch in two areas, but if you play the three rail, you're more comfortable. But, I mean, he's a pretty precise player with his cue ball. I mean, he, he plays like half zone and half accurate spots, you know what I mean? I mean, his cue ball is so good from his three cushion to where he can be accurate when need be. But he likes to stick to the zone, you know what I mean? Right. Listen, me and Manny have been battling for a long time back and forth, and uh, we play dead even, and I can't tell you how many times he's kicked balls in out of nowhere on me and run out. Yeah, I know. It would make me sick sometimes, but eventually I just start to just madly respect it. You know, <laughs> I mean, I'm serious, man. He would kick. I would. I would play the the most dead nut great safeties, and I mean, his his attitude towards kicking the shots in was unbelievable. I and mean, bam, it happened out of nowhere. Not the nine not again. On the snap. Yes. Hill. Wow. That's twice he broke the nine in this set. On the hill. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's twice Kinky left that back ball loose like that and went straight in. He must be exhausted because he knows a lot better than that. Well, things are flowing towards Manny Chow to win the set here. 
on the hill, 10 to 4. Let's see if we can break this nine in one more time. Make it a hat trick. Or look, come back with nobody home. Yeah, look, for real, I wouldn't even put Ginky out of the set yet because he was down six to one or six. Yeah, six to one or seven to one or seven to two against uh, Mike Deshane. And comes back and gets to the hill and wins like eight games in a row or something like that. Yeah. I can't did. remember exactly, but I mean, the score is 10 to 4. I mean, six game deficit. I mean, it's funny how know. nine ball works, though. He kicked that three and he made the four and he missed the five for well, really no reason. And then, of course, the guy breaks the nine in on you. Yeah, I mean, it's, like some, it's supposed to happen. Yeah, sometimes there's a situation where you feel too fortunate of yeah. what just happened <laughs> and then it makes you miss a shot. Such yeah. a sad feeling, but it does happen to all of us, you know? Yeah. But regardless of the outcome here, both these players have one excellent tournament. Yeah, they're playing great. See Manny smiling. He's got a kick at the ball. He's all excited. Yeah, he shouldn't have been that happy. It wasn't that easy. Yeah, he's definitely saying, wow. here, uh, let me give you another opportunity to get a couple racks together here at Ginky. I want to make this closer. The only thing with Manny is he had, a, I remember he had a tremendous lead on um, Dennis Hatch in the Empire State Champion. He came in second. He had a tremendous lead on uh, Bustamante in the New York City Nine Ball Champion. He came in second and bolted him with really big leads. So he's really got to finish him when he has a chance here. He doesn't want to start leaking games back to him. Yeah, definitely. I was telling uh, Schmitty a second ago, Schmitty, uh, Daniel Smith, he's the guy who won the One Pocket event here this weekend. Uh, me and him actually bet a, bet a deuce on the side here on this match. I got Manny Chow. And uh, I was talking a minute ago about how, how well I like uh, Ginky's demeanor uh, while he's playing the game. I mean, he sits in his chair like a gentleman. I mean, he doesn't doesn't talk. I mean, he does everything that appropriate that a sportsman is supposed to do, you know, while playing competitive pool. And, uh, I mean, kind of like Manny's doing right now. I mean, it's, you just got to sit there and not make any motions. I mean, it's great to have a final like that. You don't ever complain about things, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's excellent. It's one thing about Ginky, he never gets upset. Yeah, I love that, man. That's definitely a trait to treasure, for sure. I asked him about it one day, and he says, listen, I'm going to miss tomorrow, too. I'm always going to miss. Like, I can't get upset when I miss. People miss. That's what happens. Yeah. He doesn't get upset about it. He just goes back and uh, he plays his game. Yeah, you couldn't have said it any better. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, that oh. pocket is Don't scratch him. Don't Ooh. scratch him. Yeah, it's scratch him. Oh, wow. Brutal roll, man. Yeah, yeah that's wow. a brutal roll. Yeah, he kind of let he 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 let some kind of negative energy like squeak into his mind some somewhere somehow right there. I mean, you gotta really be hungry to win to to come back from a deficit. You know what I mean? It's 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 tough. This is a brutal game. Well, here's Manny's chance to secure the tournament. All right, see, this is this is the type of rack. You know, just just wrap it up, shake his hand, take the money home. No nonsense. Get the job done. Well, hey, this don't look that easy. I mean, how would you play it? I mean, if you come too far, you can get behind the six ball. But you got to play. You got to get close to the five because you got to stay up there for the six. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, and the seven ball's in the way, so you can't come, you know, shoot the four there and come in between. You know, he's going to find a, a shorter route to take. I would shoot it in the corner over there on the other side of Manny and come in between the nine and the seven. Uh, I'm a fan of what he did there. I know yeah. you, you're shooting at the long, po at, you know, at the pocket furthest away, but you get to follow. You really control the cue ball. You can hit it at the speed you want to, and, you yeah, no, and there's no ball in the way. Yeah, there was numerous angles there to, yeah. to 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 get closer to the five and play a simple run out. Heat of the moment. Yeah. Here you go, Manny. He looks good. 
Doesn't look like you could do much wrong from here. You know, uh, I'm I'm surprised. I mean, man, he's my road dog and everything, but I'm surprised that, that uh, he's in the situation hey, hey, here hey, to. Hey, uh, who's your road dog? My, well, my road dog for the time being is uh, Ray, big truck handsome. Let me get that straight before I say anything. But uh, <laughs> no, I'm just uh, yeah, man, he's, man, he's one of my road dogs. Man, he's a good dude. You know what I mean? I like I like to travel with him. He's jacked up here. I mean, this the set ain't over yet. But let's say Manny was to secure the set and win the tournament. The uh, he was playing Jeremy Saucy on the the winners bracket earlier today, and uh, he made a few uh, unfortunate errors. And he came to me and he said. Uh, He's like, man, I don't know what it is, man. I'm having a hard time focusing 100%. I can't focus hard, you know, like he was struggling in the set. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I was like, dude, man, I mean, you know, you, know, you can't focus 100,000% on every single shot you shoot. You just got to be able to, you know, develop the energy to, to, to feel the shot and win the set, you know. And then next thing you know, I mean, yeah, you know, Jeremy rolled up on a seven ball when he was running out. He was on the hill, what, ten to eight? Yeah, it's unbelievable. And he missed the nine too. With yeah, the extension. Rolled, yeah, roll yeah, missed the nine ball. I mean he, Jeremy had that set one two or three times and man he came back and stole that set and that got him the whole tournament, you know what I mean? Right. This is the exact this eight, this eight ball, it's exactly like the five ball he missed earlier. Uh, I doubt I, I would doubt he's going to miss it, but this is a similar shot. He didn't uh he hit the long run with it. Oh, nice. I know. like shooting it with inside. Yeah, now he's cutting it inside. He changed his mind. Uh, I wanted to came all the way around like that, but for the cheddar, why not? I mean, swing at it. <laughs> well, ladies, it. And, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. This, this shot right here is for the set, and I just got a sugar packet thrown at me from Schmitty over there because he's about to lose 200. Thank you, sir. Very much. <laughs> Manny Chow, Peruvian champion. Kid song, Manny Chow. Yeah. Wow. Well, we'd like to thank everybody out on the internet for joining us. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, it's a great event. Uh, hats off to Q9 here in uh, Levittown, New York, man. This place is really nice, and uh, I think you're going to see better and better things coming from this place here. Uh, look for uh, more events. I, I heard uh, Josh tours coming through here too. Yeah. Good night, everyone. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you soon. Atlanta. Good Ad night. Atlanta. $60, all five events. Be there. It's going to be awesome. 5000 added. <laughs>